New to Adapt Builder is the ability to export loads from a RISA 3D model and import them directly into your Adapt Builder model. This will expedite processes such as podium design by allowing you to import loads directly instead of having to input them by hand or creating your own Excel file. So we'll start in our RISA 3D model where we have the superstructure modeled. Now I've already analyzed this whole model, making sure to include all the load cases that I want to be applied to my Adapt Builder model. So once it's analyzed, you can go up to File, Export, and you'll notice there's a new option here to export to Adapt Builder file. So go ahead and click on that. And now we just need to save this B3D file somewhere where we can find it. So I'm gonna save it on my desktop and I'll name it Loads. I'll replace the one I already have in there. And then when this warning pops up, we can just click Yes. Now we can go back to our builder file where you can see I have my podium modeled and now we need to import those loads. So there's two different ways that we can import the loads. The first one is by going to file import and we have this new option for importing RISA loads. Or if you're on your loading tab, there's a button here to import loads from RISA. So if we click on that, you can see our load import wizard window sh shows up. And now we just need to navigate to wherever we saved that B3D file. So I have it saved on my desktop. I'll open that up and now I can go to the next tab here. This next tab is our data mapping and preview tab. And here you can select which load cases you want to import from RISA 3D into Builder. For this video, we're just going to select all of them. And then you can see all of the point loads or line loads that are included in those load cases are now over here in this spreadsheet. So you could review them here. And once you're happy with all of your loads, you can click next. This brings us to our load case mapping tab. So this is where we can take the load cases that are imported from RISA and map them to existing load cases that are within Builder. So this DL load case from RISA, we want to map that to our dead load case in Builder. Similarly, we can do that with our live load. And in RISA, we had a live load special load case. We also want to just map that to our live load. We have a roof live load here and our WLX we can map as well as our WLY. But you'll notice these other four here, WLX, P1, that is not a load case that's already included within Builder. So if we leave this set to no, then when we import these load cases, Builder will create a brand new load case called WLXP1 that'll include those loads. So you just need to make sure that if you want those loads included in any of your analysis, you need to create new load combinations, including those load cases. All right, now we can go to move imported objects to XY position and then click end. And now you'll see, it might take a second, but the line loads and point loads will be created within the model. And up here at the top, it tells us to select the first point for moving those objects. So I'm just gonna click on this top right point load and then where I want to move it to, which is the top right up here. And now you can see we've really quickly imported all of our point and line loads that we exported from RISA 3D. If you want any more information about importing loads from RISA 3D into Adapt Builder, please reference our help file, or you can go to www.risa.com.